let's make something delicious let's make some curry goat fusion style of force i'm here for it so let's get right into it okay fusion family so we are back with a part two on the fusion curry goat we seasoned our goat thoroughly if you haven't seen the video check the video it will be in the description link it's been seasoned really well and thoroughly been sitting for 24 hours we're gonna go ahead and get right to it and just get into cooking our goat we're gonna start by putting a tablespoon of olive oil in our pot my pot has been my sauce pot has been preheated you can also up for less calories by putting just a little bit of water right and the goal here is that we're going to be adding a little bit of the Caribbean fusion curry paste to the oil, right? And we're going to burn that in the oil. Now, quite frankly, this step is quite purely optional. Uh, some people like to burn the curry in the oil and then adding the meat to it. But our meat is, has been seasoned so well. So we're just going to add a little bit. <laughs> This is all I had left in the oil. It's still an optional step. The curry goat was already pre-seasoned with a lot of uh, curry paste. And the curry paste by Caribbean Fusion is really made just to add your meat cook and go. It's a low sodium product, so you may have to add uh, salt to taste. But generally speaking, it's just created with all the fresh herbs and spices already in there. Again, this step is pretty optional. It really is. The Caribbean fusion curry paste is created to just add your meat, cook and go, and you'll be done with it. Um, so we're gonna do this literally just for about a minute, and then we're gonna add our goat with all the fresh herbs and spices that we added to it. We're gonna add it to the pot. When you guys can start making your cut go at home. You know what's in the blend. It's pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness. All our products are vegan friendly, gluten free. And feel free to make all your vegan gourmet bites. Alright, so guys, so we're just gonna actually Toss this around for a minute in the pot. We're gonna cover it, allow it to spring its own natural juices. I currently have the, 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 the heat level at about a low to medium. You can put it at medium. And we're gonna allow it to spring its own juices. And then we're gonna come back and give it a stir, allow it to spring its own juices. We're not gonna add any liquids at this point now sometimes you buy goat and the goat is so tough it's so hard you may need to pressure it first for 20 minutes so first you're gonna you put it in the pot stir it around for a minute or two allow that curry to soak right in and then you put it in your pressure cooker and pressure it for 20 minutes and then bring it to the stove top today i'm just going to be cooking it on the stove top so it's probably going to take me an hour hour and a half to tenderize this but you can also opt to put it in a pressure cooker so we're gonna let this stay on say medium heat I'm just gonna raise the heat a little bit and we're gonna have it spring its own juices we're gonna come back we're gonna give it a nice stir see where it is make sure that it's not sticking we're not gonna add any fluid at this point okay guys we're gonna keep making sure that we keep stirring it in the early stages of our cooking to make sure that our goat doesn't stick but it's bringing its juices, a quick stir, and we're going to cover it right back. Okay guys, so we've been cooking this for about 12 minutes in its own juice. See, it's bringing its own juices. I haven't added any water to it as yet. Okay, I am going to be adding 
And if you have warm water, you can add warm water. But I'm going to be adding the equivalent of three cups of water to this. Let it cook for a while. It's probably going to be cooking for probably over an hour. Again, you can choose to pressure this for 20 minutes. You can pressure this for 20 minutes. Let's get some water into this. You can pressure it for 20 minutes and then finish cooking it on the top of the stove. I am going to add the equivalent of three cups of water. So we cooked it for about 12 minutes in its own natural juices. Right, and then we added three cups of water. We're going to put it on medium or medium to high heat because it's going to be cooking for a while. And then we're going to check it occasionally. You can check the tenderness of it and see how far we are. If not, just pressure it for 20 minutes and then cook it down for another 10 minutes. Okay, guys, I've been cooking this for one hour and 50 minutes. And what I like to do at the ending of the cooking process is to add fresh thyme and fresh scallions to the top of it. And what that's gonna do is actually give it another burst of flavor. I'm gonna cook that in for 10 minutes. The scallions, before you put them in, you can actually take a fork or a knife and kind of tap them a little bit. This kind of helps to release the juices. If you know, you know. Perfect addition for some roti, some jasmine rice, some rice and beans some boiled dumpling and yams. It's looking so good and smelling so good. I want you guys to check out that curry paste. That curry paste is phenomenal. And remember, our entire collection is vegan friendly, gluten free. So you just work this in into your gourmet lifestyle. I believe every bite needs to be gourmet. Look at you guys. So we're gonna cook this in for 10 more minutes and then we're gonna share this up, plate this up. Okay, so we're all done. Ready to chow down. So total cooking time about two hours. Guys, spare yourself and just go ahead and put that in the pressure cooker. Right, so we're just gonna go ahead and let's just create this up. Kind of looking so good and smelling so good. All's up up for organic meats. And if you're a meat eater. Ooh, so good. And there you have it guys, delicious Caribbean fusion, curry goat using Caribbean fusion curry paste and gourmet seasoning as always guys it's a pleasure having you here bye